So finally, after a long wait, a new Snapdragon chip from Qualcomm has arrived for the flagship segment. We are indeed referring to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 CPU. The new chip is a significant improvement in every way and has a cutting-edge ARM V9 architecture. In addition, Qualcomm is upping the bar for innovations by introducing ray tracing and Wi-Fi 7. First, let's talk from the perspective of gamers, like what gaming improvements are present here. The new Adreno GPU promises 25% higher performance with 45% more efficiency than previous gen. Also, the GPU is the first to support Vulkan 1.3 which comes along with OpenGL ES 3.2. And as I already mentioned, the company jumps on the ray tracing bandwagon by offering hardware accelerated ray tracing, which gives mobile games more realistic light, reflection, and illuminations. Support for new quicker memory technology is included in the Gen 2. It supports LPDDR5 XRAM at up to 4200 MHz, up from LPDDR5 at 3200 MHz. It can store data in the brand new UFS 4.0 format, up from UFS 3.1. Now when you're gaming, you need faster internet as well. For that, it supports both MMWave and sub 6GHz 5G. This modem also supports dual SIM 5G connection. By that, I mean you can use 5G on both SIM at the same time. And the Qualcomm Fast Connect 7800 connectivity system offers Wi-Fi 7. It tops out at 5.8 Gbps, up from 3.6 Gbps on the previous chip. Besides speed, the new standard also lowers latency. Qualcomm calls it wire-like. Now for general users, I will tell you about cameras, or rather about AI that helps you take better photos. The AI-powered Always Sensing camera is supported by this Qualcomm chip for the first time. It enables contextual awareness of faces, facial characteristics, hair, clothing, sky and other objects by the camera. The new SoC will support up to 200 megapixel photo capture and 8K HDR video capture in 10-bit HDR. Samsung's 200MP HP3 and Sony's Digital Overlap HDR sensors have been specially tailored to function with the Snapdragon ISP according to Qualcomm. Like its predecessor, the Gen 2 brings a triple 18-bit ISP that can handle up to 336MP cameras simultaneously or go up to 200MP for a single camera. Zero shutter lag is supported for 108MP sensors. Several HDR formats are supported including HDR10+, HLG and Dolby Vision. Now for tech enthusiasts who love to know more. Qualcomm has focused on improving power efficiency, however the new processor still offers noticeable speedups. The new Cryo CPU Trio offers up to 40% more efficiency and up to 35% more performance. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 uses 64-bit architecture with one prime core that is Cortex-X3 running at a clock speed up to 3.2 GHz, four performance cores running at a clock speed up to 2.8 GHz and the chip contains three efficiency cores running at a clock speed up to 2 GHz. As for AI, for the first time on a mobile Qualcomm chip, the new Hexagon processor adds support for a new INT4 format. Compared to earlier approaches, it offers a 60% increase in performance per watt and Qualcomm claims a 4.35 times boost in AI performance. The company says that numerous OEMs have chosen the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for their new flagship models. Asus, Honor, Aiku, Motorola, Nubia, OnePlus, Oppo, Red Magic, Sharp, Sony, Vivo, Xiaomi, Mizu, Yes, and ZTE are among the companies on the list. Strangely, Samsung is not included in the list, despite the fact that Galaxy S23 series will use the new chipset. Maybe they will add it later. Anyways, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching till the very end. Peace out.